Hi everyone, good day to you all, wherever you are in the world, whatever time you're watching this, it's great to be with you. My name's Adam, and along with my wife, we look after New to Faith in the Manchester campus. Uh, things like the response team, baptisms, and of course the Alpha course, where everyone is welcome. Recently we've been talking about my miracles, so everyone's been sharing, whether it's financial, whether it's been health, any way that Jesus has worked a miracle in their lives. And today, I'd love to share with you a small story about something that happened last year. So let's dive in. Have you ever heard the phrase, Jesus take the wheel before? More often than not, we love the idea of Jesus taking control of things, especially when they start to spiral out of control. In fact, it's sometimes the only time that we actually like him stepping in, since at other times, we're more than happy to coast along, leading lives the way we see fit. Okay, perhaps not you. But sadly, it is a habit I've fallen into from time to time. Just being honest there. Then though, on the flip side, you have those that choose the phrase, Jesus take the wheel, as a way of relinquishing all responsibilities and self-control. Almost like passing the book to Jesus. Those two extremes are quite interesting, right? Well, whichever way you look at it, the Bible actually makes it very, very clear what the reality of our situations are. Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, A man's mind plans his way as he journeys through life, but the Lord directs his steps and establishes them. Amen. So whether it's, Jesus, I'm desperate now, please help me, I've done everything I can do. Or whether it's, Jesus, just do everything for me. It's kind of irrele irrelevant because the Lord directs our steps in every way. We may be allowed to go on our merry way for a time, but God will step in when the time is right. And he'll protect us as he does so in any way that he sees fit. He's the one that's there for us, no matter what. He's always waiting, he's always willing, he's always loving, guiding, and all embracing. You know, we can all be prodigals at times. We can all fade away. We can all slip and slide at various stages of our lives. But how beautiful it is that we have a Father in Heaven who rejoices in saying, This brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and he's found, like it says in Luke chapter 15, verse 32. There will be numerous times in your lives where, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. And I was facing such a time last spring when many things were trying to shake me. Many lies were trying to rattle me. It all came to a head when driving home from work one evening. It was on the M56, a route I've taken countless times over nearly 15 years, all safely, I should add. Suddenly, I was being approached from two sides. Vehicles were coming at me. I had nowhere to go. One was joining from a slip road too quickly. The other was changing lanes without looking. Panic started to set in, as I'm sure you can imagine. This was surely the end. I had nowhere to go. Thoughts started racing in my head. Were all those doubts placed in my head actually true? Were the lies that had been spoken over me recently actually truth? Did I deserve to be gone from this life? Was this my time? Well, in my heart, the answer was a firm no, and it had been for a long time. Things were not like before. This was a new chapter of my life. The devil was just merely trying to smear everything around me, make it look worse than it actually was. However, it's in moments like this, moments of weakness, those moments of panic, that's when the enemy tries to fool us more than normal because our guard's down. We're not thinking straight. Now, I found out recently there's a classic Carrie Underwood song that goes, Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hands, because I can't do this on my own. What a profound line. 
And wow, did I ever need that to be the case right then in that moment, in that van that I was in. I was in a snare. The enemy was desperately trying to stop me for, from living for Christ in whatever way possible. But you know what? My loving Father in heaven, my Jesus, he said, not today, Satan. And he literally took the wheel for me. And I'm not even joking because my hands had lifted off in shock. I'm living and breathing today as a result of divine intervention. Somehow, I really, I really honestly cannot fathom how it happened. That small van that I was driving that day swayed quickly between the lines of my lane, managing to avoid contact from either of the on oncoming vehicles until I was able to slow down and thankfully no one was behind me. And I was eventually able to pull over to the hard shoulder and boy was I counting my blessings. Praise God. Had I been in a position to demand anything that day or be worthy of Jesus stepping in at all, well, certainly not. And when are we ever worthy? It's very important to remember God's grace and mercy are a gift to us. However, as I said, in my heart of hearts, I actually knew the truth. And I'm talking capital T truth, a Jesus style truth, because it was him that was telling me, ignore all the lies. You're my child. Even if you're struggling in any way, I'm your father. And I have great love for you. And that means that any glimmer of hope is still there. Jesus was my hope. And he is my hope. And he will always be my hope. If ever I stray off the path, I can get back on it. My saviour wasn't letting me go that day. He hadn't given up on me. And he never has done. I just needed a reminder. And I want to let you know today. Wherever you are in your life, God's not given up on you either. He has not given up on you at all. He is a faithful father. He is never changing. Our God is love. My miracle on that day means that I can share this testimony with you right now. And it's great because it reminds me of what it says in John chapter 3 verse 30 where it says... Jesus must become greater and greater and I must become less and less. And that's so important to keep at the forefront of our minds in our daily lives. Hold tight to God. Ask him to keep guiding your steps. Make Jesus the main part of your life, please. And you will see a life ahead that is abundantly better than before. And Jesus will protect you in every way. Thanks so much for watching today. God bless you all. Have a fantastic week. See you soon.